Hello everyone, I'm the Saxy Gamer, and today we're back for yet another episode of the Civilization VI Saladin Let's Play. In the last episode, eh, not too much happened, I guess. We uh, we kind of just finished converting Japan to our religion, so the entire continent is under our religious control, which has given us a ton of science. We're getting like 117 science from our beliefs, so hopefully this allows you to see why Saladin is so good, and also why the change to, what was the religious belief? Um, if I can even remember where I'm at. Why cross-cultural dialogue is very good now, because I'm sure that a lot of our science is coming from our own cities now, because previously this used to be for uh, for followers in other, uh, in other civilizations, but now it applies to your cities as well, so that's adding up even a little bit more. Uh, work ethic's been really doing wonders for us, and man, I think that Saladin, the old religion-science combo, so strong. Uh, one thing that I complained about, about last, last ugh, man, I forget how to speak English again. One thing that I complained about a lot last episode was that uh, it's currently a bug right now that with work ethic, if the holy site gets pillaged, whenever you rebuild it, it doesn't get the production bonus anymore. So you can see this one only has 10 faith. This one over here has 14 faith, 14 production. So it doesn't give the production bonus back, which is kind of irritating and really kind of sucks. But enough of my intro, let's actually get back to playing the game. And things are going to be, I don't know, things are going to be a little bit slower now, I guess, at this point. All that we really need to do is kind of just, you know, continue to push out science per turn and get ourselves towards the point where we're going to make some space parts. And we're going to finish our first space part in just a few turns, so that'll be really helpful. I need a drink of water, though, I just thought. As we're serenaded by yet another wonderful rock band that I'm sure we'll hear three billion more of throughout the course of this episode. But let's finally put some farms over here. So these cities are really bad in terms of production because the tiles around them are really low in production, but if we at least grow their population up enough, maybe we'll be able to get some production out of it. That way they're not at least painfully slow. Instead, they're just mildly painful. Let's also make sure we get our hydroelectric dam. How are we? Uh, we actually don't have any coal, so thank God we're not using any. Otherwise, we'd be in quite the predicament. And let's definitely build a spaceport over here. This city's got pretty good production. 97 production? That's more than... Okay, it's not more than my capital, but... Still, god dang, 97 production. That's that's uh, that's nothing too shabby, I'd say. This city is rebelling. We're having a lot of loyalty issues because of the World Congress policy that got passed in the last episode. That's making us lose 5 loyalty in all of our cities. I mean, we're growing faster as a result, but... I don't know. It kind of sucks to lose that much loyalty. Uh, I guess we can put Pingala over there. At least at the current moment. Actually, we should put Pingala in Babylon. Since it's got way higher population. We can move Reyna down here. And Pingala can go in Babylon. Which is right there. And that, that should help us out at least for the time being. Man, I, I, I love the look whenever there's all these... Uh, when, when there's all, like, the dams and the aqueducts and stuff, I, I, like, I think it looks super cool. I'm actually really glad that they changed the adjacency on the industrial zone a while ago, so that way it gains it from, like, some of the, the civilian districts, if you will. No Alright, we have satellites, but we're still, we're not very far into our space race projects yet. Oh, if we can launch the Earth satellite in six turns, I'd say that's probably pretty good. What do we want to go for next? I think we just need to go for more of the the projects. So nanotechnology is the next one. And then after that, we just have to get over here and uh, start sending out the final ones for the win. Oh, we're got, we've got some nice Brazilian music now. Wonderful. Christina's about to throw her book at me again. But then she realizes that she values the book too much. Poor Christina. Man, we make fun of Christina all the time. Had I been present at the In before Christina Let's Play, right? Um, who should I give some envoys to? I do need to get some. Um, I wouldn't mind being the Susan of Nanmadal. I, I need to get some culture. My culture is abysmally terrible this game. Do I have a monument in every city? I actually think I might. That guy's got one. They don't have one. Or they do have one. They've got one. So pretty much everybody has a monument. Also, I'm just going to buy the hydroelectric dam. We have 17,000 gold right now. So we might as well just, you know, spend some of it. 
I generally, I like this late in the game, I like to keep the, the gold for buying great people, though, because the one great scientist, or two of the great scientists and a few of the great engineers are really helpful towards science victory. So being able to have, like, funds just stored up so that way you can buy them when you need is really important. That's not, I guess it's not really important. I mean, at this point, we're probably far enough ahead that we're just going to win. But not necessarily. You never know. Sometimes people can always surprise you and, like, give you hit you with the old surprise attack. We are currently the farthest ahead in terms of that. We're actually farthest ahead in terms of religious victory as well. Let's build an amphitheater, though. Get at least a little bit of culture. Pachacuti is catching up to me a little bit. But not really that much. Man, I love the aid request because you just get so much gold. One thing that is kind of stupid about Apocalypse Mode is though, is that there's so many aid requests that get sent out that a lot of people just get like boatloads of diplomatic victory points. <laughs> Which is kind of dumb, but you know. I guess it is what it is. And boom, there we go. Oh wow, that actually gave us a lot of extra culture. We went from like 80 to like 115. Alright, more gifts. We're about to finish our Earth satellite already. And we do have satellites. So we will be able to launch the moon landing. We must be in the year 2024. When we will go to the moon next. Which I think is pretty hype. Honestly, I like... I don't know. I think that like the, the, the new age of space exploration is like one of the coolest things. And I mean, I guess that's probably a very shared sentiment, but... Especially the, the idea of going to Mars. Like, man, if we actually can, like, make a successful Mars base, my mind will be blown. Okay, that guy hurts a little bit. He's probably a debater. Um, I guess we'll go for ranged. Let's earn double great scientist points. No, let's actually go great engineer. That way we can see the good ones. Give me some, uh, diplo points. And sure, we'll go world's fair. I'll vote yeah for the world's fair. Near the oh, that's right. Since we launched our thing, oh, somebody has the Bermuda, the, the Bermuda, uh, Jesus, Bermuda Triangle, and it looks like they're actually able to use it. But yeah, there's our Earth satellite, so that's why we get all that. We're able to see a lot of stuff now. Wait, where is Bermuda Triangle? Oh, actually, yeah, it's actually not too far. Well, nobody can really make use of it, man. If you ever get this like in your territory early on in the game. That's like, it's practically an immediate win. Think of how much science is on these tiles. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 science. And then plus 70, 80, 9. There's 90 science on these tiles. Just imagine like if you spawned next to this or something. I, I don't even know if it's technically possible to spawn next to it. But what if there was an island right here or something and Coupe finds this early on? He starts the game. He immediately has like 90 science. <laughs> Just insta wins. Oh, why am I uh, making one of those? I actually want to launch the moon landing. Oh, well, shoot. That guy died. I forgot to move him. <laughs> I just... I even remember that this guy was here. Oh, man, this guy has got a lot of combat strength. Five... Hol plus five holy ground? What does that even mean? I don't know. Let me let me let me bring some reinforcements over there. I don't like when people try to kill me. Especially not whenever they're trying to convert my cities while doing so. Brazil has some sort of fixation with Dido though. I don't know what it is, but he really likes Dido's land. Oh man, there's the mega colossal eruption over there. I hate that this one keeps blowing up because <laughs> it breaks like four districts every time it does. Oh, well, there is no monument here. Can we not? Oh, we can't purchase one. We're just going to buy it because we have 30,000 gold somehow. I don't know how we ended up with 30,000 gold, but we did. Probably, I guess it's probably from the, uh, the aid request. Probably just a lot of people giving us gold. Uh, let's get a granary and a water mill over there. I guess we'll build an art museum. We do have that great artist still. Have these guys chill. Hopefully he attacks the debater one again. I'm sure he's probably not going to, but... 
I can at least believe. Yep. All right. He did not attack the debater. But next turn he'll have to. So I'm gonna move this guy back. Oh look, now there's a tornado too. How are we doing? Oh, we're not doing the best on climate. <laughs> we do have to be a little bit careful. I just thought. Um, you know, this is apocalypse mode, so things can just come down and blow us up. What tiles are floodable here? I wonder. Maybe it's is it worthwhile for us to stop and uh, stop and get computers? I think the answer is yes. That way we can at least build some flood barriers and stuff to protect these cities. I see we're already flooding a little bit. That's what, the settler lens that shows that? Oh, actually, not very many of our tiles are floodable. Alright, I mean, we're, we're still going to get it anyways, though. Just for the sake of fun. We are going to be in a heroic age next year, though, so that's really nice. We're up to 32,000 gold. People are going to give us even more. Brazil's man. I don't get why everybody is so mad at me. Like, I mean, I get that I... Like, I took one city. How many grievances do I have? Oh my god, I have 400. Against Japan? For what? Is that just from converting their cities? Where's the, uh, yeah, the grievance log? Promise, pro oh, that's why. It's because I promised them not to convert their cities, and then I converted all of their cities. <laughs> Oops, so that's why, okay, there you go. In a nutshell, that's why you should not actually make the promise if you're not going to do it, because you get so many, I think we have more grievances than, yeah. We have far more grievances with them than the Inca. So, okay. Well, we've learned our lesson, though, I guess. That would be precisely why you should not make the promise, if you're going to break it. Now we know. I mean, I guess I already knew that, but now I'm not <laughs> stupid about it. Now I remember, I guess, would be the, the proper thing. We have another Appease the Gods going on. I don't think I particularly care about that, but... Maybe I'll accidentally blow up the volcano again and kill everybody. Man, the other thing, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys have probably heard it in some of my recordings, but man, my, my chair is so squeaky here. So I, I've, I, I've been at home for the past, like, few months since, you know, I got obviously sent home from school and coronavirus stuff all started. But man, my chair at home, it's really squeaky. <laughs> like, really squeaky. Do we have uranium revealed yet? I don't think we do. No, we don't. We could put down a holy site, but we don't really have any good spots for it. But yeah, man, the squeaky chairs. Just, I don't know. There's so many little things at home that irritate me way more than they should. And I think it's just one of those things of like, after you've lived on your own for a while, it's really hard to go back to living with like a lot of people. Okay, that volcano just blew up again. And next turn, we're going to get a ton of culture, because we're going to launch our Earth satellite. And we can build a temple down there. Let's get another governor, just because we kind of need... Well, actually, our, our, our loyalty isn't doing too bad now, but we did previously need that, I felt. Let's reduce that. We definitely don't need that anymore. Let's go force modernization. I feel like we probably don't need public works anymore. We're at, we're kind of almost even at the point where our policies don't even matter that much because we're just pretty far ahead. No one else is even close to us in terms of science victory. I guess Pachacuti's like kind of getting there. Everyone's giving me more money. Look at this. Tons of cash flow. And we're about to launch the moon landing. Oh, another flood mitigated. How are we doing on climate? We're still in only stage three, so that's not too bad. Moon landing is up, up, and away. Bada bing, bada boom. The effect of the mass media is not to elicit belief. And just like that. We're in a heroic age as well. We're definitely gonna take Heartbeat of Steam. I guess we'll take these three. We don't we definitely don't want wish you were here because we don't care about tourism literally at all. 
This is pretty good, though. Um, Campus District Science Adjacency provides production as well. I guess it's, we don't have that many, like, really good adjacency science uh, or campus districts, but still, any bonus production you can get is always, always a good time. I was also thinking that I might get back into more of the, the gameplay and analysis stuff. So, I mean, like, as, as I've been doing this Let's Play, I've kind of remembered why I don't like to do Let's Plays. <laughs> I'm just very bad at, like, I don't know, keeping up with them, I guess, is my problem. And thinking about things to talk about the whole time. Which is kind of the thing that I like about stream a lot, is that on stream, you know, I can just sit here and talk about whatever. And interact with the chat, but not quite the same whenever it's, uh, whenever it's a let's play and I'm just sitting here talking to myself. Because it feels kind of weird, not going to lie. How much gold do I have? 44,000. Just a few. But yeah, so I, I might get back into the gameplay and analysis. I think I, I only ever did like three episodes of that. But I don't know. I, like, I thought that was a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice series. A quite entertaining one. And I mean, I, like it seemed like the reception to it was pretty good. So maybe I'll go ahead and restart that one up after this. After, of course, I finish this Let's Play. I'm definitely finishing this one, but... What else do we want to run? Hmm, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I mean, we could put public works back. It's probably not terrible. Um, and then up here we could just run like um. Man, none of these are really good at all. <laughs> Extra coal, sure. We I don't think we have a source of coal, so <laughs> maybe it's not. Maybe it's not useful at all, but... Alright, we gotta get to these... These endgame... Techs now. So we have still an excess of stuff. Let's get the Cold War. We get 19 science from that Madrasa? What the heck? How about this city? What do we get from the Madrasa here? 19.5? Whew! Stacking those science bonuses up. That's a lot of science. That's uh, that's a lot of science. What do we even need to build here? We really don't need to build anything, do we? Really, all that we need right now is just to wait for our research and then um and win. That's pretty much it. From in the Baltic, do we need any of these? Any of these good? Mm, not particularly. We have rock bands unlocked now. If we want to go harass everybody the, the entire game. <clears throat> Man, my throat is dying. That's the other thing about Let's Plays. Is that you have to talk for so long at a time and it's just like... <clears throat> my throat. Corona. Um. Oh, we actually do have... We can launch, launch Mars Colony. Alright, well, I mean, like, we'll, we'll definitely do it in the capital, but... I really, I feel like that I just ignore the government plaza quite often. I don't really know why, like I think in some games it can be really good, but I don't know. In a lot of cases I don't feel like it actually does that much. Also, I think at this point maybe I just run campus research grants. Oh, definitely want to get a mosque over there though. Get that extra 10% science, culture, and faith output from that city. Oh no, that one got pillaged too. Rip. Rip the production bonus. Now it's gone. Woe is me. Whatever happened to that one apostle that was down here? You know, the real, the real rude dude. Wait, anyway, don't build a zoo. We need to build... Mars Colony. How are we doing on great people? Um, let's buy this guy. For the low, low price of 18,000 gold. We will certainly buy Werner von Braun. And I think I'm just going to queue up a bunch of campus research grants down here. Same thing up here. I'm just going to queue up campus research grants. 
we're at that point in the game where that's really all you need to do. I really wish that they would make it so that there's just a, you know, in Civ 5 there was a thing that you would click it and it would permanently just produce science and things like that. They really need to add that to Civ 6 where it's just a button. That way you don't have to continuously queue it. <laughs> so just like, you know, run, it, it indefinitely run campus research grants or something. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, what happened here? Oh, we got sabotaged. The art of sabotage. Put down some solar panels. Convert you again. Werner von Braun, which who we can't even use right now. Okay, we can set it down there. But that's going to be even better that we have Werner, Werner von Braun because he gets double production and we're going to be able to use him twice. So we actually get, I don't know. I honestly don't know how it stacks. I don't know if it doubles the double or if it just gives you, you know, plus 200%. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are... We need a spy. Build me a spy. That way I can protect my spaceport. Protect my spaceport from communist invaders. Oh, there's the, the mean guy again. Wow, a lot of these guys are quite mean guys. I need to send you back to heal. Get out of here. Oh, look, look at this guy. He's got double promotions. That's big brain. All right, they're just, they're, they really just want to convert that one city. I don't really know what their deal is with it. I think we are at the next state of climate. So if we get to seven, then everything starts, you know, crashing down and meteors blow everything up. I honestly don't even know if we'll get there this game, though. We might win before that ever happens. At the rate that we're going, it's very possible. We're making pretty good progress here, I think. Maybe we just need to pollute more. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's, that's the solution. Or maybe just more campus research grants. We, we can probably get over a thousand science per turn this game. I'm at least moderately confident in that. I mean, we're already at 717. <laughs> oh, wait, what's going on over here? Why is Lisbon not following Snippy Snippy? It's probably those Catholic missionaries again. Over here, converting us away. Oh, wait a minute. What the heck? The return of Buddhism. <laughs> it's back. I don't know how that happened. All right, well, let's convert it back. Buddhism, go away. Thought we got rid of you. But you've returned. All right, we've almost finished our repaired spaceport over here. And now that we've gotten all those uh, those great scientist charges, or those great engineer charges, we should be able to be able to uh, say the same word twice. We should be able to uh, get the whatchamacallit rolling pretty nicely here. Also, I want to put her in Damietta. I know it's not Italian, but there we go. Four turns for the Mars colony this time. Oh, Manhattan Project, sure. Uh, let's Flood Barrier. Even though it doesn't really protect very much, I kind of like the look of it. And it gives me the peace of mind that I need. We'll build the Manhattan Project over there. Maybe we'll blow somebody up, too. I think, I think that'd be a fairly fitting end of the series. Let's just blow somebody up. One in doubt? Blow them up. There we go. Oh, what the heck? There must be an apostle over here. <laughs> Japan must have had like a stray apostle like roaming around somewhere that now has come back from the dead. Now everybody's demanding things again. Because I still have three billion grievances with Japan for converting their cities after I said I wouldn't. Oops. No? No apostle? Where's it coming from? Hello? Oh, I, I, I wonder if it's from the rock bands. Because I know rock bands can convert cities, but I thought it's only to, like, the religion of the city that, um, that you have it in. But I wonder if it's actually the religion that you founded. That'd be interesting. I feel, I don't know. Maybe, maybe someone in the comment section knows. 
Another catastrophic eruption. Blowing up in Gazagamu again. Poor in Gazagamu. Um, down here, I think we just run Holy Site Prayers. I really... Actually, uh, we can't even build a campus because we don't have enough population. Holy Site Prayers it is! Yeah, I, like, it has to be. I mean, I guess unless unless that was the last apostle. Oh, somebody failed. You hate to see it. <laughs> Let's also become friends with you again. Alliances, economic, accept deal. And we have our spy now, so let's send him into Cairo. I want to make sure I'm protecting my spaceport there from any non- Oh, Bologna. I do quite enjoy Bologna, I must say. Not the actual, like, bologna. Like, the, the meat. I hate that stuff. That stuff's disgusting. But the city-state in Civ, pretty good. Also, look at this. The true mark of superiority is just putting a tunnel on every mountain tile. All There's a, just a big tunnel. We just made Swiss cheese out of the mountains. That way you can walk through all of it. Something just happened. Alright, I mean, we launched our Mars colony, but it sounds like something blew up over here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe something was sabotaged by a spy. Let's get a zoo. How even, how even are our amenities this game? We really haven't checked. Happy and content? Okay, that's like, that's alright. I'd give that one solid, yeah. Maybe somebody else will want to trade with us. Who's on the other continent? Angus, you got anything good? What would it take? He'd give me one gold per turn for that. All right, I'm not doing that. How about Hungary? Hungary, what would you give me? Seven gold per turn, I'll take that one. Give some farms to pour Tripoli down here. <laughs> oh man. I feel like that volcano has blown up a lot this game. I feel like Vesuvius hasn't even blown up that much. But maybe it has. Look at those yields. This is a really unfortunate Vesuvius because it's surrounded by mountains. So like it it only ever like gives yields to two tiles. Like that <laughs> that's that's really unfortunate. Because normally you just want it to, you know, give yields to as many tiles as possible, but... Unfortunately, they don't have that that luxury this time. Right, let's just go more campus research grants. Jump. Pum pum pum. Pum pum pum. Pum 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 pum. Pum pum pum. Oh, we're about to get smart materials. Perfect. So we can send off our exoplanet expedition and start our track towards actually winning our victory. What else do we even... We, we really don't have to build anything else here. Let's finish the flood barrier just for the memes. Let's just buy the research lab down here. Nah, what the heck, we'll build it. That's like how you know you're flexing in the game, when it's just like, ah, we might as well just build it, because we're so far ahead that, you know, we, we've got the time. We've got all the time in the world, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's buy a builder over here. And see, we want you to counter spy on the spaceport, keep that nice and safe from all our communist invaders. Even though we are the communists this game, I guess, so... Oops. Christine is going to throw her book at me again. Let's see. Is Buddhism back anywhere again? The return of Buddhism? Alright, I've now found the name. Oh my god. We're surrounded. Die. I gotta try to get this guy out of here. I gotta get out of here. But yeah, I think we've, we've, we've definitely found the name for this episode. It's 100% going to be the return of Buddhism. Oh, we got some pretty nice, pretty nice water tile yields whenever you have Liang with fisheries and and the old mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Uh-oh, we're at stage five. 
Now there's tornadoes everywhere. Nothing is truly safe anymore. Let's launch that exoplanet expedition. Five turns, not even bad. So all that we really need to find now is the laser stations to speed up our stuff. All right, let's send this guy back to heal. I don't want him to die. Wow. <laughs> he, he moved very far in one turn there. Oh, I guess it's because the mountains. Oh, because he could go right through all that, yeah. Man, mountain tunnels really are quite useful. Like, whenever they're used well like that, god dang. Pretty good. That's some good stuff. Um, I'm going to say no. We have a big hurricane, though, that's probably going to break. Hopefully it doesn't come over here and just break all the things that I'm putting down at the current moment. I'm sure that's probably exactly what it's going to do, but, you know. I can hope. Check the great people again just to see. Nothing's particularly good. You know what? Maybe I'll get this guy. I'll get some free cosmetics. Ooh, okay, well, there's the hurricane. It's made, made landfall. And... We did very badly in the World's Fair. Oops. Well, we can use this guy. Get us our, what was it, cosmetics? All right, let's send the debater. Is this, this is the debater, right? Yep. Send him back over here. That way he can patrol for any... There they are again. Patrol for the Catholic missionaries. Oh, that's right. I forgot that geothermal power plants exist. We can build one, though. Let's build one. I, I actually don't know if I've ever put one down. No, I definitely have at least once, but not very often. This looks kind of cool, also. Whoa! We lost! What? What happened? Diplomatic victory? To which our civilization first rose. What? So too shall we return. <laughs> what? what happened? As the light I'm so confused. To nothingness. We wonder if one will rise to Diplomat- Mongolia diplomatic victory! Bruh! <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. I- wow, okay. That happened. The sad thing is, there. I don't think there was literally anything we could do about that. <laughs> but- <laughs> Okay, well, there's a lesson. You should probably, uh, probably try your best to, uh... To check the rankings leaderboards, because stuff like that happens whenever you're playing Apocalypse Mode and there's three billion emergencies going on at once. So yeah, the Mongolians, uh, yeah, that happened. That's really disappointing, because we were about to... <laughs> we were going to win, like, within 50 turns. Ah, well, okay. That was a surprise. Maybe I'll change the name of this episode, episode to a surprise ending. Because that was definitely a surprise ending. So, you know, happens to the best of us, though. I guess, you know, maybe I'll just, uh, I'll delete this, uh, delete this Let's Play Forever, so that way nobody can ever see that sometimes I do lose games of Civ. That's one of the very few times that I've ever actually, like, lost a game of Civ to the AI. Man, I feel violated now. But, hopefully that was entertaining, at least. I didn't see that coming. Last time we checked, like, the most Diplo points somebody had was, like, nine. And I feel like it was only last episode. Is Diplo points... No, nah, there's not even a thing. They should make a thing for Diplo points. Wow, that's, um... That's dumb. Let's see. Was anybody else close to winning one as well? I want to check it out. Ah, oh, it says disabled now. They got 13 from scored co <laughs> competitions. <laughs> that's the thing with Apocalypse Mode, as I mentioned. You know, sometimes... Sometimes people just get, like, if they just throw a bunch of money at stuff, then all of a sudden you win a very easy diplomatic victory. So, let it be a, uh, you know, a thing to everybody. I feel like that is something they should change with Apocalypse Mode, is that they should make the... I guess I complained about this in last episode, or maybe this episode, but that the... The aid requests are very too frequent, and that's kind of showing you why. They got 13 Diplo points from it, and just suddenly won. But, <laughs> well... Hopefully that was an entertaining end to the uh, the series for you guys. It was definitely not expected for me, because I thought we were going to win easily, because we have 800 science per turn and we're about to win, but, you know, 
sometimes you just uh, you get overconfident and you forget to check if anybody's winning a diplomatic victory. So uh, thank you everyone for watching. I have been the Saxy Gamer. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like. If not, feel free to dislike. If you're looking for some more Civilization 6 content, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.